Hi, now it's been a long time since I've made videos and since I've been out there, even on social media. And I just want to first talk about why and what are, what's been un unfolding with me. And then also I'm inspired right now to start a new series about how to align with your true self. And I will be talking about so many aspects um, around that. For example, the aspect of the mind, beliefs, your quantum physics reality, uh, neuroplasticity, i.e. how your mind is you know, always reshaping itself, how you reshape the way you think, the thoughts and the patterns of your neurology, uh, epigenetics and how you affect your DNA expressions, how you are infinite potential, how to ground, how to actually in this maze of incredible amounts of information out there and, and not just information but also misinformation, how amongst all that to navigate and find your true self, your true center, that's really important. We'll talk about vibration, consciousness, trusting yourself, trusting in the divine, knowing how to surrender, knowing when to push forward, when to put your foot down. And I will link that to my knowledge about the chakras, my knowledge about quantum physics, my knowledge as a scientist, and generally as being me and the various studies I've undertaken and my life experience as well. So first of all, why I have been a bit quiet, not that I actually need to justify that, but I do want to share because you might be curious and it might be relevant for you and it might help you in some way as well. So since December, um, I, that's when I re ran my last women's retreat and I was still busy doing my yoga and my women's work plus my PhD and everything else, being a mum and having my own life, of course, my own self-care and my relationship, my husband, all those kinds of things. So... I just felt there was this real sign to slow down and stop. My whole way of uh, being slowed down. I enjoyed gardening on a deeper level and I've always enjoyed it. I just felt a strong message to be quiet more and to step back more. While I was exploring what's going on in the world and posting on and off, both the ugly and the beautiful aspect, because we live in polarity. There's so much hope and beauty in humanity and there's also so much that's being exposed and finding a way to navigate that has in itself been another practice when to let go when to make a comment um when to just trust and let it unfold and when to be a spiritual warrior or a you know a a person that is really like a freedom fighter in a sense so with all that going on, I had a lot of time in my garden, meditating, um, just focusing on different things. Um, my husband playing cricket, my kids being at home, studying. You know, I'm always studying something because I'm forever curious. And whether that's my mind or whether it's, it's a book or whether it is um, plants or relationships or psychology or sleep. It's that's just infinite. And I'm totally in awe about the infinite opportunities that we have here. So I just felt like being more quiet and I focused more on my PhD, which actually made my PhD so much better. Um, before that, it was sort of lukewarm and my writing wasn't the best. But when I really focused into my PhD, my supervisor himself said, wow, you really upped it and it is, it's great. And I've passed many milestones and I'm still in the middle of that. I'm in the middle of applying for a scholarship and I'm in the middle of submitting a few things and learning a lot and loving it and meeting amazing people. So recently I gave um, a talk um, in the Clare Valley for the Dental Hygienist Association and I really loved bringing my stuff back out and I gave a one and a half hour talk on all these things that I'm passionate about to women. It was a room full of about 50 women I'd say and um, it was wonderful. I just really re-elicited this feeling of wanting to teach and I trust all that. I really feel there's an ebb and a flow and a yin and a yang while we're in this dimension and that we need to honor that so that we can wave through it, the changes within our bodies as well. My body has gone through some changes as well and I may make a YouTube about that and share about what I've done and how that helped because um, it's been a really, really interesting journey. Things have shifted with my parents um, and it's always been really beautiful, but sometimes things were a bit tricky with COVID and we've had to, you know, navigate that. It's been really, really 
incredible opportunities even you know my children i'm always with them and i know them i feel we know them to a certain degree we never really know anybody fully let alone ourselves but even there you know that whole global exchange of shift and vibrational shift and these you know this way in which people divided it also you know showed up in small ways in this household and the idea that um we could actually join that madness i was really no way i'm not getting into it i said to my kids quite clearly that um there is a real um situation going on out there where people are getting divisive uh, my philosophy is that we can always collaborate and find ways to respect our differences and actually grow much more by sharing information rather than saying, no, you're wrong, you're right, I feel this, I feel that, but almost like staying curious and saying, I wonder why you think this and how did you get across that and staying patient, not getting snappy like the world was getting on Facebook globally in America, in Europe. And yes, there was a call for things to shift and it's always like that. Sometimes it takes a big experience explosion and a huge change which has been predicted for a long time um to to manifest so that things get really shaken up and it's rough it's not that you can't stay unconscious you can't just flow and and stay in la la land even though it's nice there and peaceful um you have to navigate in a different way so it's been incredible and uh, i would love to also add to my next youtubes the people that i have connected with and also the teachers that have come up that have um, shown different perspectives of navigating through the way in which we are moving in a new dimension. I have got to, uh, to, um, YouTubes about that. If you look back down on my other YouTubes on since COVID started, how we choose the new reality, how we focus on what we want and how important that is not to get caught up on the fear and on the potential dangers, which will always be there and were always there. And when we focus on them, we actually enlarge them. So part of my whole recent three months or more has also been rearranging the house and I've created a little spot where I can just sit and do YouTubes rather than being in the living room and creating that space and writing a note on the door saying I'm running a class or I'm, I'm doing a, a Zoom call overseas or in Melbourne or saying I'm recording something. So I like this. I've set this up. This is a beautiful space. It's actually a really nice room, but I only want, only want to keep it very impersonal. So I can just sit here no matter what, if someone else needs to use that room as well. And you know, my daughter, my son, my husband, anybody. So I feel really cute here. And I feel that this is going to help me to make more YouTubes rather than think about, oh, I need to, you know, just make sure the room is, you know, all perfect and, the lighting has to get reset up and then I have to figure out where to sit on the floor on a chair. I've simplified now at last. You would think, Sabine, what took you so long? But hey, you know, when you fly with so many different variables, sometimes these inspirations come later and you just have to go, thank God I have it now. So I can actually be more active with what I actually love, which is communicating and sharing some of the wisdom I might have that could be useful and also hearing about yours in the comments and, and your recommendations and creating that community which is happening all over YouTube. And of course, also, um, unfortunately, on platforms that have had to leave YouTube because YouTube booted them off for saying things that were currently not acceptable according to some people. So I like to keep it lighthearted but real. Uh, expanded and at the same time grounded within the body. We need to manifest everything through the body. We are here in a body for a reason. We need to realize, in my opinion, that we are infinite potential and embody that with an expanded heart, grounded with our feet, we connected with Mother Earth, realizing that we are really, 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 really powerful and that every challenge that we get, we can navigate in a way that actually up levels. Every challenge is a gift to up leveling, to maybe learning how to be quiet, learning how to speak up, learning how to meditate deeper, millions of things, journaling more, uh, looking outside the box, learning how to discern if you have trusted a lot in the past, um, learning to trust yourself even, you know, like some people are still learning about that because they have learned as a child that it's not safe to trust yourself, that you can get in trouble for that. And even through past lives, we have been murdered and killed and um, been disadvantaged by speaking our truth, which was, 
you know something that is stored in our dna in our consciousness i've worked with clients still not much because i've been really focused on my phd but certain clients that are really ready and wanted to work with me we released amazing things very easily i work with past lives i work with trauma which is really uh, amazingly quick to release these days as the world is moving faster and i'm excited about it i'm seeing it People often say, wow, if I knew it was going to be that easy and that fast and that deep without being re-traumatized, I would have done this much earlier. It's life-changing and powerful. It changes everything, the way you feel, the way you look, the way your biology responds, your DNA, the way you feel worthy of opportunities, of the right uh, way to earn money, of the, of the right to be quiet or to shine even brighter or to, you know, be a different kind of parent or wife or friend or whatever it is you are, husband. So I will make another few videos now while I'm on to it. I want to talk about things I've learned during my NLP, both being an NLP master practitioner, but my also that direct experience with people and both as a Kundalini yoga teacher and that journey and my own yogic journey, my, my experience as a hypnotherapist, how we hypnotize ourselves on a daily level, how we allow others to hypnotize ourselves and recognizing that, how to be grounded and loving ourselves no matter what goes on. So I've made a few lists and titles so I don't get everything into everything, like one huge chat that could go on for days. Um, so I'm a bit more structured. So I look forward to sharing those and beginning these in my new little spot. Um, I'm very excited and I would love you to ask me any questions. Please, you know, engage if you resonate. I'd love to know more about that or um, share that you liked it or that you didn't like something. It's really, really fine. I feel like it's the era of truth and reality and I respect your your side, your dimension. And that brings me into my next video where I will talk about why it is so important to trust ourselves, that we barely know ourselves, why that is so and how we are really programmed and how we can look at the way this programming worked and how to undo it and how to be playful about it and how to be compassionate with ourselves and actually see it as a game you know like i love the analogy of um the chess pieces go all into the same box afterwards um that's very basic but also very profound and so yeah i hope i will give you joy i hope i will inspire you to remember who you are which is incredible divine powerful you have so many things within you and i've seen this in the work with the women i've done once we drop those layers that were layered on top of it um, of our true selves and our truly intuitive profoundly creative inspired intelligence once we drop those layers those belief structures those programs those baggages you could call or the baggage imposed and also self-inflicted we fly, we go, wow, this is incredible. But until we drop that, it's often hard to even embrace that or believe it. Yeah. So talk to me anytime. My passion is this. And um, this meaning reminding you how amazing you are. And uh, really, truly, I sit for this. I stand for this. I live for this. And I reflect on this all the time and honor it within myself to humbly but also gratefully and also in oneness of all that is an amazing life of which we don't even barely understand half of it, which also is amazing because it is like a hide and seek and a discovery. So hopefully this little introduction helped you to understand. I've just trusted my intuition. I stepped back a bit. I watched, I got into it and out of it and it's great. It's just amazing. So, See you next time. Ciao.